Max was excited. The big science fair was just a day away, and his robot, Bolt, was ready to steal the spotlight. Bolt wasn't just any robot. It could navigate mazes, solve puzzles, and even deliver snacks. Max's friend Mia and Theo had been there through every step of the project, cheering him on. As they stood in the school lab, admiring Bolt, Max couldn't help but imagine the first place trophy in his hand. But the next morning, disaster struck. Max walked into the lab to find Bolt completely unresponsive. Its lights were off and the circuits were dead. Panic set in as he exclaimed, This can't be happening. Bolt was working perfectly yesterday. Mia, ever the logical thinker, suggested it might just be a technical glitch. But Theo, with his flair for drama, leaned in and said, What if someone sabotaged Bolt to ruin your chances at the fair? Determined to uncover the truth, the three friends began investigating. The first clue appeared when they opened Bolt's case. The deep scratch ran across the main circuit board. This wasn't here yesterday, Max said, his voice trembling. Then Mia noticed something unusual, muddy footprints near the workbench. These aren't ours, she pointed out tracing the trail to the slightly open window as if things couldn't get worse. Max realized his favorite wrench, the one he always used to fine-tune bolt, was missing. The team decided to split up. Theo went to review the security footage. Mia began asking other students if they had seen anything suspicious, and Max carefully inspected bolt for more damages. As they reconvened, the pieces of the puzzle started to come together. Theo found blurry footage of a shadowy figure sneaking into the lab late at night. Mia learned that the rival team had been overheard saying they'd do anything to win. Meanwhile, Max discovered a loose wire inside Bolt, something that could have been an accident or deliberate. Just as suspicion fell squarely on the rival team, a surprising twist came to light. The rivals admitted they had snuck into the lab, but not to sabotage Bolt. They had accidentally knocked over the toolbox which fell onto Bolt. Panicked, they fled the scene, too scared to confess. Max took a deep breath. It wasn't easy to forgive them, but they knew they didn't mean to harm Bolt. With everyone working together, the group managed to fix Bolt just in time for the science fair. When Bolt finally powered on and flawlessly navigated the maze during its presentation, the crowd erupted into cheers. The judges awarded Max and his team first place. But what truly mattered was the lessons they had learned. As they celebrated, Max smiled and said, Sometimes the real prize isn't the trophy. It's learning how to solve the problem. Bolt span in circles, its glowing screen displaying happy faces as it agreed with the creator.